Hi, welcome to this video tutorial. We are going to install Arco Linux in a few minutes, but before that, we've just moved a big move from Arch Merge to Arco Linux. So it might be a wise idea to tell you what we changed and what where to find your information. So we have um, four websites actually. We have also a forum, so that's for the longer technical details if you are stuck with something. But there are three websites basically that is Arco Linux information, Arco Linux info, and we have information about releases and so on. You can check that out. But also very important page is this one, Arco Linux edition. So we move every month to a next edition, a new edition, and every month we make tweaks and config changes and more themes and so on and so on. You can check it out. And in between, we have also beta versions. That's more for our beta testers to see what we're working on, what I changed and all that. So that's information wise. This one, articlinux.com, is more for uh, the ISO of two gigabytes, which is XFCE, Openbox and i3. We're explaining these things in here, up here, right? Fixes, help, interesting th things to check. And the last one is Arco Linux with a D, meaning you choose the desktop, you decide the desktop. All these we develop, document, different, diverse, but basically you decide the desktop. That means that after a while working in Arco Linux, you say maybe I just want to have XFCE, that's it. Or I just want to have Openbox. Well, install Arco Linux D and install Openbox. Done some point in time you'll say hey what about this awesome windows styling manager eric has made tutorials about or budgie or cinnamon or gnome or mate so you explore other desktop environments which is fun thing to do of course so that's why we have uh, these websites to try and make a distinction between the big iso smaller iso um, that's how you should uh, read it. That's how you should use it. So without further ado, let's install. We have here VirtualBox ready. The ISO has been downloaded, in my case has been built, and we have here, it's, it's loaded up in here and we start. So it's the same thing. I recommend you use it first in VirtualBox, see if you like it, and then if you say, hey, this could be my daily driver, then you install it on uh, your hardware bare metal as they say what will you boot into we will start with xfce and why is this so interesting why is arco linux interesting and other distros out there as well because we all use the calamares installer this is a graphical installer what would be otherwise what we're going to cover in phase four, an internal uh, well, way to install Arch. So this is a graphical way to install Arch Linux. And with components, let's, let's make that uh, correct. Let's rectify that immediately. So it's not Arch Linux we're going to install, it's Arco Linux. And what is it? It's Arch based. Yes, we have packages that we use from Arch. But there are packages coming from Debian, from GitHub, from uh, Red Hat, and that's the AUR. And then we have our own packages. And we mix them together, and we tweak and theme them, and we get Arco Linux. That's what we are. And we're using the Calamares installer. So you choose your language. Okay, fine. And then next, then you choose where you live, and normally he knows depending if you have internet connection of course and the system language will be set to English if you want to change it here or the locale is to English so you can change it here as well the locale is interesting for this uh, clock here this calendar and clock will so that it provides you with the correct language next we use a keyboard and I'm from Belgium as you might know so I need my Azerti keyboard, otherwise it is a little bit difficult. So you choose your own keyboard to the left. And then my uh, general recommendation is 
erase your complete disk because that's that's the least trouble you will have manual partitioning and so on i hear people get in trouble because of the knowledge maybe because of calamaris maybe i don't know my advice is just use one uh, put everything on one uh, disk give it everything to calamaris let it decide itself and what am i looking at here in front of my desk well 10 ssds so i just pop in one ssd after the other and i'm using arco awesome then arco open box then arco gnome and so on you know and that's my way of working then we have a name we should pop in arco linux like so that's just just a name you can type anything here really that's your login etc this is your password and then log in automatically without asking for a password i'm all for that if you want to uh, protect your system so nobody can get in like that well don't do it and use the same password for administrator account is easier but again that's all up to you Check it out again, last time, because when you press now next, it's going to be installed. There you go, Arco Linux is going to be installed. It's going to take a while because it's 2.1 gigabyte, that's going to well, maybe 2.2 already, that's going to be loaded. It's a lot of software that's going in there. One of the last additions was Zoom. Zoom video conference is a great tool. Uh, we can have Skype-like conversations with uh, um, people. Maybe you know Destination Linux, a little bit publicity for the guys. Uh, well, they use this Zoom. Uh, it's interesting to check it out. What else? There are other things that we've added. Well, I just want to make uh, to tell you that there is Peak. Peak is a way to make animated GIFs. I've made uh, three tutorials say please guys if you want our help and our support we need to see what's going on in your system and peak is one of those things that records what's what you see that's going to be an animated gif you put it on our forum and we see what happens on your system it's also an interesting tool there's also let's have a look well yeah we are if we are in this system you are in zsh not in bash and that's why we get this um let's see if it's it is installed so ascii nema is an interesting thing if we press rec it's going to record but unfortunately we cannot run it but anyway this is the code you need to do and it's going to record anything that's inside your um, terminal so that's also a neat trick you get a link and then you can copy paste the link in our forum and then we'll see what's going on in the meantime, you see these guys here. How are these guys called? Is he? No, I thought the Max Brother or something, but a look alike. But this is the name, wallpaper, blah, blah, blah. And it's coming from this one, desktopper.co. People always ask, where come do my beautiful wallpapers come from? Well, I don't look for them. They just come to me. And that's called Variety. And Variety fetchen, fetches them from desktopper.co. So on a daily basis or on a minute basis, I can do whatever I want. And that's, those are just settings. I can check out what wallpapers I like and even checking by colors. If you are say I want this particular color or that particular color, so <laughs> looks like an interesting idea. And all I do is make a login and then we can sync to the Dropbox and we have the wallpaper on the Dropbox. It's as simple as that. And in the meantime, I just looked, I was, I was over a thousand wallpapers already. So it's just fun to have a, uh, well, a variety. It's called variety, but you get a variety of wallpapers. Never seen this before. That's variety giving me this choice. Anything else? Well, this is the plank. While we wait, let's teach a little bit. That's who I am. So these uh, move about. Quite nice but you can also say no Vivaldi is for, more important up there and Firefox as well all the browsers need to go up there and so on a right mouse click can change anything so wait a moment a right mouse click with the mouse and control left 
press gives preferences and then you can say let's put it on the top stuff like that but there are tutorials for that almost done installed restart now done you will see um, some errors when you boot when you install this on an ssd everything is explained of course where should you look for all the explanations this page read this page arco linux edition so blog arco linux editions this is the most asked questions and there are errors in there and people say hey there are errors it's not normal well it is normal and this is normal and so on and so on so do check it out then there is no frustration on your end and just some fun so here you have it it's installed and you have three systems in here you might not know it but you have three desktop environments you need to log out and then go back up here and you have openbox xfc and i3 and you can check them out all right that concludes oops that concludes this tutorial and we're going to show you these desktops right now cheers